Hi, and welcome to the Basics Tutorial Series. My name is Helena, and I'll be taking you through how to find, download, and convert in a virus file to the .mat file type in IDQ Lite. To start, go to a virus, .jpl.nasa.gov and go to search the data archives. I'll put the link in the description below. Here you'll find satellite data from the US and Canada. You can scroll around and see what data may be of interest to you. Let's check out Lake St. Clair in Michigan. Note that currently our software supports a virus data under two gigabytes. If you're using a laptop or computer with limited hardware, we suggest that you try a smaller file like this one. The Lake St. Clair file is only about 0.27 gigabytes. Click Download Orthocorrected Radiance Data. The download may take a few minutes. Once downloaded, you'll need to extract the data twice. Go ahead and go to File, Download, right click, and go to 7-zip, extract files. You may place them in a certain location. I'll keep mine in downloads for now. So the .gz file needs to be extracted as well as the .tar file. Extract again. You may need to click it first. Get it out of the folder. Extract files. Again, choose a place where you'd like to go. And now you have the file that you would, you'll need to open. So we'll go ahead and open IDQ Lite now. Now you'll go to the Data Import tab and select the radio button for a virus and browse. Find your location. Mine is in Downloads and find the one that you've extracted twice. Now you will scroll, typically it's going to be at the bottom, and look for the largest file, and you will need the .hdr file and the file that has the same name, which will be these two. Open both of them, and click Convert. As you see, you will get a waiting bar to let you know the progress of the conversion. This may take a few minutes, depending on your hardware and the size of the virus file. Once fully converted, you will be able to find your file in the same location where you found the original. Go to Open, HSI or hyperspectral imaging data, downloads, and you will see it's a uh, .mat file type, and you will just click on it, and IDQ Lite will load that image. You now have the image and have access to all of the panels here. And you can play around with some of the functions. And you can also go to Tools and Classification. You can add class. and choose a small part of the river here and classify.
you will now get an original image and a classified image, including an image comparison slider window where you can see where any water is. So that's it for today. To download IDCube Lite, please visit idcubes.com. The link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials each week. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.